Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Alexia Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. Oh, y'all. I just got back to Chicago after a nice four-day weekend at home. Really, five. And... I was gonna head back to my cousin's house. I took the last flight out on American and it was supposed to leave at 6.50, get me here at 9.30, but we had weather in Houston, so we sat on the runway for like almost an hour and a half. So now it's like 10.30. And um, I'm just not up for the whole doing a train and bus for an hour to get to my cousin's house, especially this late at night. Really, that's all it has to do. Like, I wouldn't mind because I'm wide awake, but you know, I'm just in a different city <laughs> by myself. And I would just prefer to avoid public transportation later at night. So, I decided to request um, one of our commuter hotels, I just did it literally as soon as the plane touched down. So they haven't, um, they haven't assigned me a hotel yet. So maybe I'll go sit in the crew lounge for a little bit and wait to see how long that should take. It doesn't normally take them long at all. They're usually very quick with that. Um, whew. had to switch arms yeah it doesn't usually take them very long with that um, like I really didn't want to do that because tomorrow I don't go on reserve until 7 p.m. so it's honestly a waste of a hotel and um, I don't want to uber or do a lift because there's just extra money and this honey <laughs> these reserve paychecks are not cute so literally I am sticking to a budget and every little penny that I can save I'm saving okay like I don't want to touch my savings account I don't want to touch my money that's allotted for other things so I'm sticking to it you want to say hi to my vlog sure <laughs> wait remind me your name Mark. Mark, you didn't tell me your name. What's going on, y'all? Y'all say hi to Mark. He just works my flight. And I'm over it. So over, over it. it. It was a four day, right? Four day, last day, last leg. And of course, we get delayed. A delay. Due to the weather. Mother Nature is a big biatch. Yes. Mother Nature is. <sighs> so, that's Enjoy. it, Enjoy. Enjoy the rest to of the your hotel. Night. Good night. Good morning, good people. What day is today? Today, today is September 11th. How did I realize? Oh, you know what? No, I'll write the email today remembering the crew members from September 11th. Um, anyways, just woke up a little bit ago about an hour or so ago. Is it out there? Okay. And um, just getting ready to finally go back to my cousin's house. Y'all, sometimes I just really think that my heart is a lot kinder than my brain, my mind. <laughs> so last night when I got back to um, the airport when we landed, I went down to the crew lounge and I was just waiting for um, them to assign me my commuter hotel and one of my classmates was sitting in there. It was just like two people down there and she was just sitting in there and I was like, what are you doing down here? You know, it's like late. Are you off reserve? She's like, yeah. She's like, I'm just looking, you know, for like a hotel. And I was like, you don't have any more commuters? She's like, no. And I guess whoever she's been pulling her hotels with, her commuter hotels with, I guess everybody, I don't really know. So I, I personally prefer to, to be alone. But out of my lips comes, oh, well, you can just come with me. <laughs> Which I mean, she's a very nice lady. Um, one of the older, not older, I don't like to use that term, but she was one of the more senior people in our class. I think she was like number two or three. Um, 
and you know she was like yeah i'm looking for hotels and all of them are like 200 dollars and up for the night she's like i don't want to spend that kind of money which i totally get so um i let her just come to my commuter with me so now we're getting ready to leave i think she goes on wrap at 10 a.m so she's going back to the airport and i still don't go on wrap until 7 p.m so i'm gonna go to my cousin's house um because there's literally nothing in my bag except for like my uniform like if i had more stuff in here i probably would have stayed here and worked out a little bit at this gym and um probably went and got some breakfast and stuff but as y'all see i'm still in the same clothes as yesterday because there's literally nothing in my bag except for my uniform that i took home to wash <laughs> i even forgot my um service shoes at home so i'm gonna be in heels all week but yeah so that's the update for you that's what happened that's where i'm at with it <laughs> see y'all later hi guys so it is later on in the day and my reserve period just started it is 7 42 p.m remember i told y'all i was on reserve from 1900 to 2359 <laughs> That means I'm on reserve from 7 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. tonight. Um, yeah, it feels kind of weird. I didn't do anything today. And I woke up kind of feeling like a little congested and stuff. And then I got back to my cousin's house and I took a Sudafed. And then it had my insides feeling weird. Kind of like my stomach was hurting, but not like all the way hurting. I don't know maybe and i didn't take it like on the empty stomach or anything i had food with it so i'm like just now feeling normal again um but yeah i just wanted to update y'all with that uh, i'm gonna watch tv like i've been doing all day long uh yeah and either i will see y'all later if they call me or i will see y'all tomorrow because they gave me reserve block for seven to midnight again tomorrow so this should be an interesting um i think how long is this block a five day block or is it six i usually do six days let's see what i got going on um one two three four five yeah six day block so I'm good until Monday as of right now it's not gonna change and then also y'all I after this six day block I'm off on Tuesday then I start a five day block from the 18th to the 22nd and then after that I am off for the remainder of the month the 23rd to the 30th and that means I'm done with Chicago like that went by like that right cool so that happened because can y'all see this is it gonna focus oh um just trying to focus okay anyways y'all can see so where it says Hold on, let me turn the camera around. That would be. Focus, focus. All right, much better. So, today is the 11th. I have my wrap period. And then tomorrow, I've already been assigned 7 p.m. wrap. And then I just have reserve days. Then I have an off day. And then reserve again. And then I am off the rest of the month. These MV days are move days. So since I'm transferring bases, they give us three unpaid moving days. They had to be consecutive days. So originally I was scheduled to be on reserve these three days. But, but. focus camera yeah so originally I was scheduled to be on reserve those three days but 
since they kept sending the email, I wasn't even gonna take move days because I don't really need to move per se. You know, I was just gonna end reserve here and start reserve next month in Dallas. And it was that simple, but I read the email that said that they were unpaid, but then also our union email said, or one of the emails said that it still won't drop us below our guarantee. So, um, I guess as a reserve, it's different. So like if I was a line holder and I actually had a trip and I used those three move days to get rid of my trip, then they wouldn't pay me for the trip I should have been working. But since I'm a reserve flight attendant, um, they're not going to drop me below my 75 hours because technically if we were to drop days then I think each day is worth like three hours and three and a half hours something like that it's a little less than that so if I was to have dropped it on my own just so I could be off then I would be losing three hours and some change but they're not going to do that I'll still be paid my regular 75 hours guarantee for the month so I was like oh well cool <laughs> you know because I'm not gonna hit 75 hours anyway um, and then even with those days off that week that I have off the 23rd through the 27th I could happily pick up trips in Dallas if I wanted to um, and when we pick up trips here that goes on top of our guarantee regardless of if we flown 75 hours or not yet so so yeah I really just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more days, ten more working days in Chicago, and then I'm free, y'all. So yeah, that's just a little update I wanted to give you. Um, my soul kind of tells me I won't be getting used tonight, but I don't really want to get too too comfortable, even though I'm already comfortable. Um, yeah. We'll see. I'll probably just check back in with y'all in the morning. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Good morning, good people. Sorry if I'm talking with a little bit of a lisp. <laughs> I have my retainer in, which I never ever wear during the day. But, I don't know. I still have it on for some reason. I stopped wearing it for like a month or two. Um, and I have like a natural gap. Like, alright. Uh, gross but anyways I can see that <laughs> there's a gap there that used to be way bigger when I was like in middle school and you know I had this I'm about to just give you all my business I have a missing tooth there God never blessed me with it you know it just it never grew it wasn't there so on my retainer I have a space holder but it's like a little, I can see better. It's like a little itty bitty fake tooth there. So anyway, I stopped wearing my retainer for a while and then my gap was just kind of starting to increase. So I was like, oh no, 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 no. Let me start wearing my retainer again. So I really only wear it at nights, but it would have been in Houston for like the last two months. I don't, did I take this apply to the training with me? I think I might have, but I wasn't wearing it every night and then it definitely hadn't been in Chicago with me, so I brought it back this time so I can kind of get that back together. Um, and y'all know what? This is so off topic. This has nothing to do with reserve life. But I went to the dentist the other day when I was home, and my dentist has been telling me, legit, y'all, maybe for like, I want to say maybe the past three years, that... I need to get a root canal on a tooth but in my mind it's like well it don't hurt you know usually when people need a root canal like they have the worst pain in the tooth and you know like all kind of I guess side effects but I feel nothing I feel nothing it feels just fine and I'm like I don't want them drilling in my mouth for something that's not hurting <laughs> and I definitely don't want to pay you know the cost of getting the root canal insurance covers like nothing it's like six hundred dollars for the root canal and the crown and the feeling whatever they got to do many ways yeah oh. so for the past like 
three years, I've known that I've needed a root canal on a tooth. I, this one all the way back there. Um, so when I went to the dentist this time, he was like, Alexia, really? He was like, you really need to get it done now. Like, it's getting to the point, like, I, I have to go in to see if it's even, like, fixable or I might just have to take the tooth out. And I'm like, oh, well, it's all the way in the back. Like, I really don't care. <laughs> so, I need to make an appointment for next month to get the stupid root canal done, I guess. Uh, not looking forward to that y'all like ugh. not looking forward to it at all and I just looked in my cousin's fridge and I think she has some caramel porridge in there um, if you don't know what cornmeal porridge is it's kind of like you can compare it to like oatmeal and um, cream of wheat it's just kind of like a different consistency um, you know it's it's a Jamaican thing a Caribbean thing we drink caramel porridge how many porridge all kind of porridge <sighs> anyways enough about my mouth um, as y'all can see reserve last night they didn't call me I think I actually went to sleep like closed my eyes turned off all my devices the phone the tv ipad no i didn't turn the phone off but i put it down um at like maybe i'll just get a little bit of porridge look aren't these glasses so cute my cousin has like the cutest thing so this i don't i don't know but i'm gonna use this to eat the porridge i just really like the look of these glasses they didn't call me, so I think I put my phone down right at 23 59 with nine more minutes left on reserve. Um, and yeah, woke up this morning and here we are, another day. So I might, I was thinking about going to a park because I just want to like move my limbs and do something, but it looks really gloomy outside, so I need to check the weather. It might be raining. All right, guys. That muggy weather finally went away. And it's like the perfect little breeze out here. It's not cold. So I was like, let me just get out the house and walk around the neighborhood a little bit. So I got my active in my ears just to give me like a little something to listen to. Y'all know active. I used to do active or anyways. It's my um, my workout app with a personal trainer in your ear, just you know, motivating you and telling you what to do. So it is 4.02 p.m. and hopefully I don't get lost. <laughs> Y'all, this has been such a peaceful walk besides a crazy person honking. Uh, Chicago's so nice, like this weather, like I wish y'all could feel this, like it's the perfect, like amount of breeze and I, what degree, let me just let me just tell y'all what this is this must be like their autumn pre freeze me to death winter it's 77 degrees hardly cloudy but it's just so nice like this is perfect walking weather anyways i've been walking maybe for like 40 minutes the neighborhood is really nice this is like the lincoln park area so many houses for sale and for rent over here. I'm like, oh, I want to stay another month. <laughs> no, <laughs> take me back to Dallas. Um, what was I say? Oh, I just um, checked my schedule and I got a trip for tomorrow. A two day, three legs the first day, three legs the second day. And they're teasing me with the Houston turn. I'm like, <sighs> let's get stuck in Houston. So I can have an overnight at home. Uh, anyways, y'all, we're headed back. Go we'll take a shower, make some dinner, meal prep for tomorrow. Well, really, I could probably meal prep tomorrow morning because um, my trip I don't think is until like three, which means I have a two, 2 p.m. ish airport report time. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm ooh, King Crab House. 
Mm. Maybe I'll go find some dinner over there. Anyways, chat later. Assignment is confirmed. You are assigned sequence 15117, position 1, departing on flight 3635 from ORD Chicago O'Hare. Sign in on 13th September at 1407. To repeat this information, press 1. To return to the main menu, press asterisk. All right, y'all, so that was me just calling in and confirming my reserve assignment for tomorrow. Um, it's not even 7 p.m. yet, so I haven't even started my reserve shift for today. So possibly if they call me tonight between 7 and midnight, tomorrow could change. But, you know, still gotta just call in and say, okay, I see what you've assigned me for tomorrow, and hopefully that'll just be it. You know, the good thing about this reserve period, this wrap, is that it's only five hours, unlike the other two, which are 14 hours. But it's late at night. And y'all know I'm not a night owl, so. You know, just like anything else, it has its pros and cons. So, we'll see. We shall see. But our last flight normally leaves like around, I think our last flight of the night leaves at 10.30, I wanna say. I haven't really learned the whole our whole um, scheduling and all that stuff yet as far as like flight times and all that good stuff. Uh, but of course, delays do happen, people time out and all kind of things. All kind of things, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and binge watch a little more Netflix. 